Hey, I'm at the Heirlooms Music Dojo, and I've got in my hands the beast from the east. This is the Questrel Swood. Look at this thing. You can even hold it like this. Look at this. Made in Japan. This is a new, brand new guitar designed by Ken Okuyama. And Ken, um, he designs cars. He designed the Ferrari Enzo. He designed the Ferrari California. The guy designs bullet trains. So I guess it only makes sense that he should lend his design prowess to making guitars. And what a guitar this is. Swood, S-W-O-O-D. Could be a kind of neologism there for swood. Swood being wood and sword. So they've got a lot of the Japanese craftsmanship going on here. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about it. First of all, this is made out of Japanese maple, maple neck, maple body. And what these guys do, they don't just like take a delivery of wood inside their place, no, -uh, no, no. What they do is they go out into the forest and they look for the trees and they see a tree and they think, Ooh, okay, yeah, that one might be nice. They tap it, maybe they hug it, maybe they bang their head against it to get the right tone wood and they put it in here. So what you've got here is you've got this neck set in in a very interesting way, kind of like a Gibson, uh, with the aluminum all around the body, keeping it all together. It's got a sort of Gibson neck set, but it's got a fender sort of neck profile. A little bit chunky, nice kind of big fat frets, and it is a very cool little guitar. Just gonna run through some of the... So anyways, this thing has got the uh, Goto tuners, locking tuners up on top here, and it also has Seymour Duncan Nazgul and Seymour Duncan Sentient pickups. So what this means is high output, great for drop tuning, great for some really, really, really sick sounds. And um, then back here, you've got this block, which is made of a material called Cobarium. Now, Cobarium, I never heard of this before, but what these guys do is they actually forge it in their factory. Imagine that. They get the ore, and they get fire, and then they pour the molten Cobarium into a mold, let it cool, and slap it on this guitar. Well done, guys. You got your controls here, volume, tone, and pickup selector in back here, and a nice little sort of handy thing there to carry it or sling it at somebody, and it's kind of cool. So, you can hear through here, that's both. High output pickups give you a nice articulation. Nice. So, what you got here with this is things live everywhere. It's got harmonics up the yin yang. This thing has got a nice smooth silky neck and it's not that heavy. The heaviness comes from you, brothers and sisters, if you want to play this thing. Comes as is, comes in black, comes in green, comes in blue, comes in red. You've got this really nice work here on the frets, a little bit of looks like either mother of toilet seat or mother of pearl, and it's a beaut. I like it. What else can we get in? By the way, I'm playing through a Pod X5 Live just to try to get some nice sounds to play around with this to get an idea of what it is. And we've got this Basement Reissue going straight into a Creative K3, which then goes right into the phone, which is then going out to you, brothers and sisters. <laughs> 